tonight with Restoring Your Life. Um, it's a program that is my second show, and I really hope you grab a hold of what we're going to talk about tonight. I have some really good treats for you tonight. I've got a special guest that's going to come on and, and talk to us about some health issues, because tonight's topic is going to be on overcoming anxiety and stress. Now, we're going to understand where it comes from, how, it's, uh, how it looks, how it feels, and I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain that to you. I'm pretty sure most of you know what stress feels like. But we're going to get into exactly what is stress, how does it affect your body, and what you can do about it. Wouldn't that be nice? I know that um, when I um, you know, was dealing with stress and anxiety, I had it for over 30 years. And 18 of those years, I was a Christian. So before we get started, though, in talking about tonight's topic, I'd like to open with prayer. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to come before you and to receive from you what you want individuals watching this to receive. I might not even say what they need to hear. The Holy Spirit may be talking to them directly. Father, but I ask that you would allow my words be seasoned with grace and mercy and love and truth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, uh, last time I talked to you about a, a scripture, it's Revelation 12.11, and I want to bring that up tonight. Revelation 12.11 says that uh, they, o they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives to the death. Well, our testimony is so important. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be talking about different things that go on in life through different stories and, and uh, things that we've gone through. I've gone through personally. My guest has gone through. And things that we've even gone through today. Uh, we had this fly flying around in the studio here today, and it was stressing me out. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm talking on stress tonight, so I need to grab a hold of something that I'm going to say tonight so that I find my peace. And so um, by sharing my testimony with you, I believe it's going to really help you understand how to apply what we're going to be talking about. I actually have a book um, that we're going to be talking about later. It's called Fearless Living. And um, it actually gets into what we're going to be talking about tonight. And so uh, we'll talk about that in a little while because we're talking about stress, right? Not necessarily fear, but let's talk about that in a little bit. So John 8.32 also says this, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Well, what does that mean? What truth? Well, the truth of the Word of God. The truth that we are um, going to be able to uh, comprehend and receive what it is God wants us to know. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.24-26 through 26 says about the same thing. But it says it this way, uh, that we are to recover ourselves. That's why this uh, show is called Restoring Your Life. Um, God's done a lot for us. We might not know it, but God's done a lot for us. And we have a responsibility as well to recover ourselves. The Bible even says that in 2 Timothy 2.24-26. That we are to recover ourselves from the snare of the devil, who take us captive at his will. So if he's taking us captive at his will, so, you know, whose, whose responsibility is it? It's ours. So tonight I hope to equip you with some amazing tools, some new insights maybe you've never heard of, to grab a hold of to change your life because you're the only one that can do it. Nobody can change you. God can change you to a degree you let him change you. But you have to be willing. You have to say, yes, Lord, I want to be changed. Yes, Lord, I need help in this area. But until you ask for it, until you want it, he's not going to push you. He's not going to press you into anything. He's a gentleman. He's not going to you know, throw anything uh, wrong at you or anything like that. He's going to work with you in your situation, in what you're doing, and in, in the events of your life. He's going to work with you. We're going to have some examples in a little while about that. But there's another scripture I wanted to bring up. It's Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. And it says this. Um, let me go back to here. It says that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, who wants to be filled with the fullness of God? But there's a stipulation. You read it. 
We need to comprehend the breadth and the height and the depth of his love. I know for a fact, and we're gonna, I'm going to actually give you the clue or the, actually the antidote right now. It's perfect love that casts out fear. Okay? How, how do we become rooted and grounded in, in the love of God? We're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about that in the, uh, the, the programs to come, too. Because tonight we're going to be focusing on how to overcome anxiety and stress. And it is rooted. There's a root behind it. And it is rooted in having um, uh, stress, having fear. And it's rooted in not knowing the love of God. And not really being able to um, understand and comprehend and receive it for ourselves. You know, um, my story is about that. I had anxiety, panic attacks, and phobias for 30 years. And 18 of those years as a Christian. So for those 18 years, I struggled. I said, why, why am I, you know, having problems? I thought by Jesus' stripes we're healed. How come I'm not healed? What, what's wrong with me? Maybe God doesn't really love me. Maybe I'm having problems with um, understanding what he uh, wants to tell me. You know, maybe I don't really know God. Maybe I don't hear him well. Or whatever it is, it caused me to be afraid because I wasn't really understanding how to receive God's love. His love um, was far away from me. See, I had been growing, I grew up in a home where uh, my father um, didn't display the kind of love that I really needed in life. And, um, and that's, you know, that's that. But I had to forgive my father too, and I'm going to talk about forgiveness in a little while. But um, once I understood that it's God's perfect love in me that's going to heal me and free me and set me free from all anxiety and stress, one day I, I recognized that. One day I said, Lord, I don't know how to receive your love. Show me how. And he did. And from that day on, that started my ministry, Life Application Ministries. And for about the last 14 years, I've been teaching on how to get rid of anxiety and stress, fear, um, worry, um, all those different things that torment us and cause us a lot of grief, you might say. And so... So... Um, I, I overcame anxiety and stress. I overcame that. Now, it doesn't mean that I don't have opportunity to get anxious, to get fearful. But now I know where it's coming from, and I know how to stop it. And I know how to prevent it from continuing. Because if we keep on, um, you know, thinking about our problems and worries, we're not going to get past it. We need to understand why we're worrying, why we're in fear, what's going on behind the scenes that is manifesting in this. See, because anxiety is a manifestation. It's not just, oh, I've got such anxiety. You know, people say, I've got so much stress. Well, quit telling on yourself. <laughs> because really you're saying, I'm in fear. Now, I know that many of you say, no, I don't have any fear. Well, the politically correct word for stress or fear is stress. So that's something you might not know. So grab a hold of that and say, you know what? Maybe I've got fear. We're going to be talking about that in a, in a little bit. But what I wanted to do is introduce to you my mascot. This is a huge spoon. And um, this is my mascot because I don't know if you recall uh, the song by Mary Poppins, a spoonful of sugar, sugar helps the medicine go down. Well, tonight we're going to be doing a whole lot of medicine. And we're going to have a little fun at the end to make sure the medicine goes down with some sugar. So this is our mascot. So remember this big spoon. Sometimes we need a whole lot of sugar to get stuff down that God's trying to show us, teach us, purge from us, deal in our hearts about. And so remember this spoon. That is our mascot for this ministry. I take it wherever I go when I do conferences, and everybody gets a kick out of it. I actually sing the song as well, but we're not going to do that tonight. <laughs> but um, So what we do is we offer a lot of things in this ministry, and we're going to be actually talking with my friend Katie in a moment about uh, anxiety and stress and how it impacts our life. But what I want to do is I wanted to read a real quick email from somebody. It says, Hi, Linda, I just feel that I have to tell you that... Uh, our, um, tell you that way over in South Africa, I got a hold of your walk in, in your walk information with Christ. The Lord actually led me while I had the flu to your website. Man, oh man, what a treasure chest that was! So I just want to thank her for 
giving me that email, and I believe that we have uh, a few minutes to um, share with you a little bit about those that have sponsored my show, and that is Life Application Ministries, um, PTL Property Solutions, VW Realty Services, and Nature's Own Way. They have all been a part of helping make this program what it is. So I want to thank these individuals. Make sure you visit their uh, locations if you can. And um, we're going to talk to my friend Katie in a moment. But uh, I still have a couple of seconds to go. And so we have a Fearless Living book. Don't forget, Fearless Living. And we're going to be talking a little bit more later. We'll be right back after this. We won't be right back after this. I have a couple of minutes left. Okay, so we have Fearless Living, A Matter of the Mind. It's my uh, autobiography on uh, overcoming anxiety, stress, and fear. And... Um, we have website teachings you can get to by going to lifeapplicationministries.org. And I have a conference coming up. And we have a lot of fun in these conferences. And these conferences are free. And we have one in August in Los Angeles in the Santa Ana area, August 14th through the 15th. And then we have October, uh, one in El Dorado Hills, October 16th and 17th. And also, don't forget, you can contact me through email and I will actually be able to personally minister to you. Right now, we're in the second week of a teleconference session that we're doing that um, people are calling in from all over the world to um, call in and help, you know, get help from me that way. So we're going to be right back after this.